Hello, by the time I released this video, this channel has been already renamed from Beam and G Boy to Nose and Memes. And in this short video, I'll explain why I decided to do it and how this is gonna affect the channel overall. If you have been watching my channel, you might have noticed I haven't made a video on this channel since June of this year. And it's all down to the fact that making Beam and G YouTube content has become sort of a problem now. For me, anyway. You see, I've been making BMG content since the very beginning. However, nowadays I started getting very tired of making BMG content and want to move away to other games I'd like to talk about on this channel, including games I have played in my childhood, ones I didn't play in my childhood, and the ones I watched on YouTube back in the day. Everything I tried to make into a video would just get scrapped for various reasons, mainly for the fact they weren't original enough, and someone else has already made a better video covering the same topic that I wanted to cover. One example I can remember is this. I once started working on a remake of my now prioritized BMG Iceberg video, only to receive a YouTube notification from Skyfall's YouTube channel a couple of days later of them announcing that they're making a video covering the same topic. And when the video released, I scrapped mine as this was not only just better editing-wise, but also explanations were better than in my scrapped video. Some people might say, you could have still made videos on other games as well, with the original name and all that stuff. Well, in my opinion, having the name BeamNG Boy sounds like a channel that would only cover BeamNG stuff, but not other games. Some people might get confused when I release a video about a different video game on what is obviously to them supposed to be on a YouTube channel focused for BeamNG stuff only. Keep in mind that Simulate Adventures, for example, is not a BeamNG YouTuber, as they're covering other simulation games than just BeamNG. YouTubers like Muya, for example, is a BeamNG YouTuber as their primary focus is making BeamNG videos. People get used to the fact of what they get on this channel is the base idea of what they're gonna get in the future. However, if you're gonna keep to the same exact formula for a long time, a viewer might actually get really bored and just stop watching your content and all that stuff, thinking that it's gonna be just all the same with a different consequence and all that stuff. For example, on the Muyo's channel again, there's a series of videos called Every Time I Crash, This Happens. And at first, it was a cool idea, and initially I thought of doing this one myself for this channel, until I started watching more and more, and it just became boring and boring, and felt like nothing was changing except for the consequences. And then, right after that, I just stopped watching his videos altogether, and I just started focusing on other YouTube channels, not even related to BeamNG at all at this point. Which is how I picked up an interest of making a video in the future of other games, rather than just being BeamNG. Another reason for a rebrand is the name itself. BeamNG Boy not only just sounds silly, but also it's a name that already existed on YouTube since 2015. Although the account was created back in 2015 by an 11 year old, as it said in the description, who's now probably 20 right now, it's been abandoned since September 2015. So, how does this affect the channel? The answer is simple absolutely nothing. This is just a rebrand with an intention to move away from making BeamNG only content and focus more on other stuff than BeamNG. Stuff like Stupid Covid series still stays on this channel. I don't know when I eventually return to it, and so is my Exus channel, now being renamed to Nodes and Rubbish, because it's ultra low effort content and it's just usually just rubbish stuff that I don't want to put on my main channel, just as usual. And now possibly to another question, how do you refer to me after I got renamed? Well, in most socials I'm simply called as Stupid Covered, obviously you know where it's coming from. But if you want to refer to me by a YouTube name, Mr. Nose would fit the best to me. And this wraps up the end of this uh, short video about a uh, rebrand. I know this will be hard to get used for some, but trust me, this doesn't change much. The content is gonna pretty much stay. There's gonna be just more, more you know, more uh, other game content bullshit and all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching till the end, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to see you again. Cheers.